Falcon. Danny Tiato has aggression and skill in equal measure, but a rash tackle cost the flying midfielder a place in last season's grand final. Now the tempestuous Tiato is in trouble again, and the Melbourne Knights suffered the consequences. Your commentator at the Hindmarsh Stadium, Paul Williams. Rick Foster, great touch. Inside is Brazale. Hardly seen him so far tonight. It's a measure of the domination that the Knights have had. The Adelaide City midfield really haven't got involved in the match at all yet. Tiato, great play. Ubasic. Tiato. Off the ball and the linesman seen it. Manillo is down. The referee missed the incident, but his linesman picked it up. And it was Danny Tiato and Dino Manillo. And Michael Perry, his linesman, saw everything. Danny Tiato is the player who's been called out and he's been sent off. Well, drama here at Highmarsh. After 18 minutes, Danny Tiato has been sent off for an off the ball incident with Dino Manillo. Plenty of drama and action in the opening. 26 minutes though, major incident being of course the sending off of Denny Tiato. into the game he comes in with a bang and more importantly for Adelaide City he comes in with a goal it was a great cross from Brazale Murray out jumped the goalkeeper as well as his marker to open the scoring for Adelaide City now the Knights have a chance to conjure up something from the set piece Fausto Demetrius will take the corner Terry goes short, cross goes long, Markoski back across the goal, tremendous ball back from Zoran Markoski, it was Marth who was waiting in the centre with the acrobatic volley and he's hurt himself in the process. But Spiteri with the decoy run to the near post, Zoran Markoski a great header back challenge came in on Marth from Armour it was very hard for him to keep the ball down Terry coming back to help out in midfield at least to gain possession Savinsky will be required to hold the ball up for longer and longer periods the more the game goes on but now it's Pateri surging through the centre Boyabasic in good support Vinko Boyabasic can he pull it back Petkovic took the chance of trying to cut out the cross and it was a risk that paid off a tremendous save there from Jason Petkovic because if he'd missed the cross there were players lurking at the back post for the Knights that would have had an easy tap in they were down to 10 men for all of 25 minutes of the first half and you have to say that even though they did have a man less they still gave as good as they got for most of that remaining period an awkward cross in and has to look down in the penalty area and that is a penalty and a yellow card at the same time for Zoran Markovsky and just when we're talking about how the Knights could possibly recover they find themselves likely to go a second goal down 
Zoran Markowski with the foul on Brad Hassel. And this gives Alex Tobin a chance to put his side two goals ahead. We're not even three minutes into the second half. And this goal could finish the Melbourne Knights off. has played the role down to a tee with a powerful penalty to the right of the goalkeeper. Also, demonstrate the first substitution coming off, number three, Mark Yates. At the same time as the fans are celebrating the second goal, Adelaide City make a substitution, which is very unusual so early in the second half. Perhaps they were waiting for Mark Yates to just see if his injury would be able to sustain the full 45 minutes I think they've decided it won't and Yates has gone off and Angelo Costanzo has come on in his place it's do or die for the Knights now they're two goals down and Hassel the man who won the penalty is fit Damian Murray in here great save by Juric and Murray's disappointed Dimitris who slipped and Lozanovsky got in there. That's a foul by Fausto Dimitris. And it's taken quickly by Brazale. Mori came off his marker. Shrugs off Mar. Still Mori. Well it didn't miss the post by much, but you could tell by the reactions of Frank Juric that he always felt that it was missing the goal. Damian Mori, who's playing against his old club of course to add to the goal that he scored in the first half. Vasic, good switch of play to Diamicius. He just needed to get a foot on the ball to put Adrian Savinsky in down the left. But now it's Goran Lozanovsky breaking for Adelaide City down the right. And they've got six players forward here against four defenders. Right across the goal, side netting from Manilo. A great run from Angelo Costanzo to join in the attack at the back post. It fired it across. Hassel missed it. Mori missed it. And then Manilo into the side netting as Juric was scrambling. Hondulyak with the layoff to Markovsky. Dimitris is free on the left. Runs from the players in forward positions are becoming less and less positive. And Hassel and Mori and Foster are raiding again. It's Foster now. Mori leaves it. Can Foster finish? He can. It's the third for Adelaide City. And it's been coming for the last quarter of an hour at least. And the speed of the attack, which Murray, Hassel and Foster combined, was too much for a tiring Melbourne Knights defence. And Foster's left foot has done it again, and that's 3-0. Bill the Knights tried to do something from an offensive point of view. As Pateri keeps the ball in play. There's an Oscar foul with the tackle from behind. given away quickly as well and still the Knights come forward on the act down the right hand side That's a little bit of play from Manilo who's looked very dangerous and he's fed Hassel in here Murray and Manilo are free on the left Hassel going on his own can he finish it well it opened up for Brad Hassel because of sheer weight of numbers it was a good chance and he knows it but he missed it anyway <laughs> tremendous ball there from Terran Manilo right across the goal Murray 
three. He's done it again, and he's scored the fourth goal tonight. But the quality of the cross from Dino Manillo was there for all to see, and Murray acknowledges that back there. Took out all the defenders, and Murray got just enough foot on the ball to deflect it past Juric. Hassel into the body, and Hassel finishes it off. smile in Adelaide tonight is on the face of Brad Hassel and two late late goals for Adelaide City beware the traditional where he was fouled and this happens players are provoked it's a bad uh, late challenge on him and the yellow card's given for it fair enough but Danny shouldn't uh, shouldn't retaliate and he's we've talked about Danny Tiado for a long time what an outstanding talent but you just sense that this being sent off is just going to wreck his career he missed the last uh, year's grand final for being sent off in the preliminary final there it is behind the play kicks out and deserves to be sent off the other fearful thing Les is when it comes to national team Olympic Games qualifier you could cost your country that by being sent off you could uh, cost uh, perhaps a medal chance uh, should Australia get through to the Olympics. And again, Danny is a, is a player that we like as a player, but this uh, continual being sent off is just something that's either someone higher up in, whether it can't happen at club level, at national team level, or even at Soccer Australia itself, someone has to take him aside to really curb this because it is going to destroy his career. Well, perhaps some uh, heavy words in his ear.